Hey guys, it's Maya, and today I'll be showing you my college art portfolio. So last fall I went through the college admissions process and I included an art portfolio with my common application. Last year when I put together this art portfolio, I watched a lot of example videos to see how I should order them, what I should include, and they helped me a lot. And since I'm not majoring in art, I'm majoring in actuarial science, I know this won't be a great example of how to get into one of the more famous art schools, but I still wanted to show you some of my artwork. Depending on the school that you apply to, when you use it as a supplement, like they ask for a different number of pieces. So like one school said at least five, another school said a maximum of 15, some schools don't even want an art portfolio. It has 12 pieces in it and it's the one that most schools ask for. It's the one that has a maximum of 15 pieces. Just a quick background on my art career, I don't know. Um, I did art all four years in high school, so I had art every single day. I started with drawing and painting, studio art, advanced art, and then advanced art too. Um, I did not take AP art in, in high school. My high school didn't offer it, just to let you guys know. Um, and before we get started, I just wanted to let you know, throughout this video I talk a lot. Um, I, th I think I'm talking pretty quickly because I just keep rambling on. Um, but yeah, I just don't shut up in this video. I just wanted to warn you. So my first piece, oh also I have everything on my phone, that's why I'm, obviously. So my first piece is called Liquid Sunshine. It is an 18 by 24 graphite piece and I created it, it was summer homework going into senior year. The assignment was reflection with distortion, so I decided to fill a glass with water and I put uh, sunflowers behind it. It was supposed to be a still life, but I took a picture and just copied the picture because I work best that way. I like realism with the detail. I don't like painting or that stuff. I, I mean, I did include painting in the portfolio. You'll, you'll see that. But yeah, this is definitely my favorite piece that I created. Um, this won a gold key this year in Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. I did a video on that when I went to the gold key gallery in award ceremony. The one thing I really, really like about this piece, I don't know if you can see it, but the way the sunflower like reflects itself, there's like a really tiny one in the stem of the glass. I'll try to like zoom in to show you. But yeah, definitely my favorite part. This took me like four or five days to complete, but it was like the whole day. Like I started in the morning and went all the way to like 1 a.m. Also quickly, just to let you guys know, um, I don't really know the proper way of how to order um, my pieces in the portfolio. My art teacher helped me and he came up with putting all like my graphite black and white pieces first and then I put a mixed media, it has graphite and then it has some color in it and then after that all of the like color pieces I mean I don't know but you'll see all like the graphite ones first if you're wondering. The next one is called Chains and Gears it is an 18 by 24 graphite piece again this is the RISD bike um, piece that's very popular again a still life, I took a picture of it and copied it um, I created this this summer going into junior year uh, as homework and yeah I mean pretty self-explanatory this one took me I think I know it's been a while um, two or three weeks at least the next piece in my portfolio is called the Forbidden City it's a 13 by 17 graphite piece it's really weird dimensions I, I don't know why I picked those dimensions the assignment was to create an icon, it could be a person, a thing, a landscape, you know, a building. I chose the Forbidden City, as the title says. Again, graphite. In the beginning, my favorite medium to use was graphite. Now I think it's chalk pastel, but it goes back and forth between the two of them, which is why my entire portfolio is basically graphite and chalk pastel. Nothing really much. To say on this piece. I rushed this piece kind of because there was a due date. Not my favorite. I mean I like it but it's not my favorite favorite. Oh yeah and I created this at the beginning of junior year. So the next piece in my portfolio is called Tropical Shades. It is a 15 by 18 graphite piece and I created this the beginning of sophomore year. So the assignment was a graphite animal picture. I don't enjoy drawing fur on animals. So I was like, what animal doesn't have fur? And I picked a fish, clearly. This took me 
three weeks, but I completed probably like two thirds of it the night before it was due. I work a long time on pieces. I like this one a lot. This one won an honorable mention, I believe, in the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. I like this one. I don't like the background though. I kind of like rushed the background because it was late and I didn't know what to do, so. I really don't like how the background looks, but whatever, it's fine. <laughs> but the next piece is called the Labyrinth. This is the piece that I was talking about that kind of like divided my portfolio between the graphite and the color stuff. Oh, I'm really not good at coming up with names of things. I usually ask my art teachers or friends, family, and stuff. But I came up with the Labyrinth on this one, so pretty proud of that. It's a graphite, colored pencil, and chalk pastel piece. My art teacher knows that I'm really into the detail stuff. And he was like, well, you should draw tree bark. And I was like, no, I don't want to draw tree bark. That's too much work. That sounds complicated. And he talked me into drawing it because I had no other ideas to do. And I actually really, really like this piece. Probably my second favorite piece, maybe third. I don't know. This one took two months, I believe, to do. But I really didn't work on it outside of class. It was just during the 40 minute periods, five days a week during the school week. My next piece is called Bottlenose Beauty. It's a 14 by 14 and I use chalk pastel. So this assignment was to create a pastel animal drawing. And again, I don't like fur, so I chose a dolphin. I did this freshman year and I won a silver key. When I entered this into like the Scholastic Art and Writing freshman year, it was only called The Dolphin. And then later when I was putting together the portfolio, I was like, I need a better title than The Dolphin. I hadn't really drawn before high school. Uh, honestly, I just took the drawing and painting course to get out of taking history because I hate history. I didn't really know, I, like I could draw and doodle and stuff. But this piece was like when I realized like, I like art, I can actually do art. I didn't take this really outside of the classroom. I think it took me two and a half, three months to do. The next piece is called The Birth of Xian. Xian is my middle name. It means elegant and kind-hearted. I used tempera paint and acrylic paint. It's a 16 by 20 and I did this as summer homework going into senior year. So this assignment was to copy a famous portrait but use yourself as the subject of it. So I chose The Birth of Venus. I hate painting, as I said earlier, so this was not fun. Oh, and you also had to copy the media that the original artist used. So Botticelli used egg tempera and he like made it himself, but I was not making egg tempera myself. So since tempera paint is more like, it's thinner than acrylic and stuff, I just mixed it with acrylic. I did this in two days. Uh, I really rushed this. It was like all day, but it was only two days. And the, this was created as summer homework going into senior year. This did win an honorable mention scholastic award this year. Just a fun fact, I don't mind drawing people, but painting people is really different and I, I didn't really like it. When I draw slash paint people, I usually start with the neck. I don't, I don't know why, I just, it's easier. And people find that really funny that I start with the neck, but yeah, whatever. So the next piece I don't even like looking at this piece. It's called Found. It was a RISD piece. You had to create two different concepts for the word contain. So this was like sophomore year me, and like I thought this was just like the coolest idea. I thought, oh, I put so much thought into this. It's so creative. Now looking back on it, I hate these two pieces, but um, this one's called Found. I created one called Lost. I needed like more pieces because I was trying to get a good amount in there. I didn't have anything else except this one, so I had to put it in. It's 12 by 12. It's mixed media. It's chalk pastel, colored pencil, and acrylic paint. <laughs> I, I really hate this. is making me cringe so hard. It's like a hand reaching up, and there's like vines trying to pull the hand back. The darker colored vines are, are insults that are hurting the person. So like that's what the black and white shows. So this person is like still alive because of these like lighter green leaves that says I am loved. So it's like, I'm done talking about this one. Next, next one is called Mooncake Memories. I created this going into junior year as summer homework. It's a nine by 12 colored pencil piece. And the assignment was to create a colored pencil still life of five or more objects and they can have a theme, doesn't really matter. Well, I picked a bunch of Chinese objects. We've got a bamboo plant, 
We have a moon cake, chopsticks, a cup that I use for tea on Chinese New Year, and this little like panda thing that my parents picked up when they went to China to adopt me. Color pencil for me is kind of in the middle. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's just kind of, just kind of there. And this piece took me, I think like five days to do. I mean, it's really small, nine by 12. It wasn't that bad. The next piece is called the storm before the calm. Yes, I know the saying is the calm before the storm. People, all the time people are like, isn't it the calm before the storm? Yes, I know, I switched it around, that's the point. It's a 24 by 36 chalk pastel piece. I was on this like 24 by 36 chalk pastel kick then. I mean like the next two pieces after this one are also 24 by 36 chalk pastel pieces and now I'm struggling because I can't fit them in the house. They're just like piled in my room and I gotta figure that one out because framing that's very expensive. This one I created at the end of junior year. The assignment was to create a piece based on your astrological sign. My birthday is July 16th, so my astrological sign is Cancer. And I had to do like a lot of research for this one. Cancer is a water sign, so that's why I included the ocean. Most signs like correlate to a planet, but mine is the moon. So I put the moon like rising behind the wave. And then you also had to include um, like the constellation in there so I put that like behind the wave using a paint pen. Cancer is like known for its mood swings so I put like violent and stormy on the left side but then like as the waves crashing it's like the sky's opening up and it's a little brighter and not so many stormy clouds. This piece I think took me three weeks on maybe. It was like the week before finals I was working on this while studying so the second to last piece called The Plastic Plague. Again, I came up with this title and I'm really proud. Uh, 24 by 36 chalk pastel piece. This was summer homework going into senior year and this won me an honorable mention in the Scholastic Awards. The assignment, it was another RISD word assignment. So the word, it was plastic, threshold, and there was there's another word, I don't remember what it is. You can look it up. Um, and I picked plastic. I saw this video on Instagram of a bunch of um, pollution in the ocean. I don't remember where it was, somewhere. And I was like, hmm, maybe I should put the ocean again. Like my portfolio has a theme of the ocean that's unintentional. I don't know why there's so many pieces that revolve around water or sea creatures, but it, it does. But yeah, I use chalk pastel. This took me like, a month maybe it was like the middle of june to the middle of july this gave me a lot of trouble because i had one pack of pastels that i borrowed from school and i was running out of the certain blues that i was using so i was having a heart attack that i was gonna run out but i didn't so that's all good i was also iffy on whether or not to include like the the sun beams because i was afraid it was gonna like ruin the entire piece but i'm glad i did finally my last piece time is precious this is like the piece that I'm like second or third that I'm going back and forth with the labyrinth. Another piece that I named myself. It's again 24 by 36 chalk pastel. Surprise, surprise. Um, I made this the end of junior year, just in time for the art show. And this piece I remember really vividly because I stayed up till 4.30 in the morning the day before the art show just to get it in for the art show. And then I had to wake up at, at 6, 6.30. So I didn't get any sleep that night, but it's okay because I finished, I won best in show, all good. I think I've been working on it like a, a month before, like it took me a month to complete. I don't really remember, I just remember staying up really late to finish it. When I had started that night, I only had the hourglass itself done, so, and I started working on it like six, so ten and a half hours <laughs> I worked on it that night. This piece is dedicated to my mom because she has ovarian cancer. That's what the teal ribbon represents. All of these pages, um, like I don't know if you can see it, but they're dates like significant to her, like chemo treatments and like major surgeries. The calendar pages that are like cascading down the page represent that time is going by and it's running out. So we really just have to enjoy all the time that we have with each other and live in the moment 
Also, this piece was not in my portfolio, but I wanted to include it as like, I don't know, an honorable mention for this video. So this piece uh, is called, I think I just titled it Masterpiece Mashup. The assignment was given to me the end of freshman year, but it was like the last two weeks of school or so. Or maybe the last month of school, I really don't remember. It's been too many years. Uh, we had to combine three famous pieces as like a cohesive piece, not just like separate the canvas or paper, whatever you're using into sections and draw. You have to like incorporate it and like really think about it. And so this was given to me freshman year and I just finished it before the art show senior year. So this piece took me four years to do. Um, I used Starry Night by Van Gogh, uh, Three Worlds by Escher, and The Water Lilies from Monet. I finished Starry Night freshman year. That was done. And then I think I used like really old paint because it got this like cool, cool texture. It's, it's plastic. I'm looking over there because like the piece is over there. I don't have a picture of it on my phone right now. Then I worked on Three Worlds by Escher. I I worked on the fish for my high school's open house, my two open houses every fall, sophomore year and junior year, and I didn't even finish the fish. That was probably like, a, that was a total of 12 hours, I just got the head and the tail done. This year, I worked on the rest of Three Worlds, so I did the trees and like the background and finished the fish. And then the night before the art show, or like two nights before the art show, I worked on the water lilies, and I finally finished that piece. I don't like the fish. I think the scales look a little weird because I used different paint during the open house and I didn't remember what paint I used, so great job, Maya. But aside from that, eh, I think it looks pretty good for four years. So like that piece is a really good representation. And <laughs> this piece is a good representation of my art career throughout high school. But yeah, I just wanted to throw that one in um, just cause I thought it was funny, four years. So yeah. Those were all 12 of the pieces in my portfolio. Again, this probably doesn't help that much since I'm not going to an art school. I didn't try to get into an art school. So, you know, I'm not an expert here, but I just really wanted to show you um, some of my art pieces. I have like, <laughs> not, this, not that this really matters, but I have um, fake nails on, so I can't really play piano and I wanna post more on YouTube. So I'm kind of making these like filler videos. I have a bunch of sheet music uh, written out already that once I take my fake nails off and everything, I'll play and I'll get to post for you guys. But for the time being, I'm just trying to come up with some ideas that I can post that doesn't include piano playing because all you can hear when I play is just ticking and no, uh-uh. I have a couple other videos planned like art and cooking. Uh, if you have any ideas, please let me know. Um, if you want to see more art videos again, please let me know. I really, I don't know what to post. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on my social media down below. And I will see you next time.